Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Genesis chapter 19. And there came two angels, 1822, and the men turned their faces from thence and went toward Sodom. 18.1, we saw there three men that came to Abraham. They get up, they start leaving. These two men take off. Chapter 19, verse 1, there are two angels. Chapter 18, there's God and two angels. God stays with Abraham as Abraham pleads for Lot. Those two angels take off. Now here they are. To Sodom at even, 6 p.m. They've been with Lot, I mean, they've been with Abraham about six hours. The heat of the day is about noon in chapter 18. And Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, as Abraham did, and he bowed himself, bowed himself with his face toward the ground, as Abraham. And he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, just as Abraham. Now, in Revelation, you see when John falls down before the angels, the angels say, Get up! I myself am a man. Why is there no rebuke here? Because Lot doesn't know who he's dealing with. Hebrews says, Whereby you entertain angels unawares. Well, here's Lot. He's not worshiping the angel. He's, he is, there's a man. I'm going to bow down as much as an American puts his hand out to shake his hand. There's no worship. It's a oriental greeting. So Lot has been fooled to think that these are just men. He doesn't have any idea who they are. And tarry all night. Now this is where the difference of Abraham. Abraham says, I'll wash your feet. I'll give you a meal. It is hot. Rest underneath the shade. Evening has come. And Lot says, I'll give you a place to stay. And wash your feet. Like Abraham did. And ye shall rise up early. And go on your ways. I've got a, I've got a room for you. A place to stay. You don't want to travel all night. Let all your cares be put under my roof. That's what Lot's saying. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. Or we'll, st we'll sleep in the street. We don't want to burden you. And he pressed upon them greatly. He, he, come on, stay in my house. We, uh, you don't want to stay out here. Let me be the caretaker of you. And they turned in unto him, and he entered his house. And he made them a feast. Where's, where's Lot's wife? Sarah makes a feast. Abraham gets a cow and brings it to his men and they dress it. Lot is doing it all by himself. And made them a feast and did bake unleavened bread. And this is before the law. There's no leaven. And they did eat. So... You look at these angels, they have been full all day long today by Abraham and by Lot. Their bellies are full. They've had bread. You know, in the Bible, I'm going to say this, there's nothing wrong with the bread, it's healthy. And yet today, our bread, we got this gluten thing, we've got this, it's against diabetes. There is something wrong with the bread of the world today that's not the bread of the Bible. And that's where I'm going to end up. But 
before they lay down, go to sleep, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compass, that means they encircled Lot's house, compass the house round, surrounded the house, both old and young, very aged and the very young. How old and how young? We don't know. All the people from every quarter. The, the, the one that, that's lying beneath a bridge, the one that has a palace. Middle age, I mean middle class, low class, high class. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men? What men? Which came into thee this night. Oh, they saw them as men too. Didn't see them as angels. They weren't women. They were men. Bring them out unto us that we may know them. And you find this story also in Judges 19.22. Now, this is not, you know, bring out those men that we may, how do you do? I'm Joe. This is Fred. This is the mayor. This is the police officer. That's not the no here. We saw this in Genesis earlier, and Adam knew his wife. These men want these two men that came under Lot's roof. We want you to come down here. We want you to pull your pants off. And we want to have our way with you. We want to do sodomy to you. That's what it is. Plain and simple. We want we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them. Lot comes outside and closes the door. Shut the door after him. Everybody's inside. Lot steps out on the porch or whatever he has. And watch this. The Bible says he's just. And he said, I pray you, brethren. Really? He set his tent as it were to go into Genesis, I mean into Sodom. Now he's dwelling in Sodom. And now he's calling the, those those perverts. Hey brothers, how you doing? Do not so wickedly. Alright. If it's not Sodomy, what would be so wicked about, hi, this is the police chief, hi, this is the mayor, we'd like to welcome you to Sodom. That's not wicked. Hi, we'd like to invite you over to the house and have a spot of tea or coffee or cold water, whatever they serve. That's not wicked. To know them and Lot telling us it's wicked, it's sexual intercourse. And Lot knows it's wicked. Behold, now I have two daughters, which have not known men, known men, known men, that we may know them. The Bible has told you itself what those men wanted to do to those men. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do ye to them as it is good in your own, in your eyes, only unto these men do nothing. And this is wickedness. And Lot becomes a tread setter for giving up a child for sex. This goes on in the Orient all the time. They will sell their daughters to people that they may gain money. Sexual slaves. And yes, it's wicked. But God said, Lot is just. But these men would not have anything to do with these women because they don't want anything to do with women. Romans chapter 1 says men <coughs> working that with men is unseemly. And we don't know what's in Lot's mind. But again, this is found in Judges 19 where he sent out the daughter and his, his concubine. For therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. And the other side of the story is that Lot told these two men, I'm going to protect you under my roof. And he's doing that all he can to protect them. 
it's wrong. But Lot is hold true to his word. And he doesn't whip out an Uzi. He doesn't whip out a knife and start killing them. And they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow, Lot, came in to sojourn. You, you came here as a temporary dweller. And he will needs be a judge. He has become a judge in Sodom. Now we will deal worse with thee than with them. So Lot said, here's my two doors. They don't even want them. We don't want women. We want men. And what we were going to do to those two men that came in your house, brother, we're going to, we're going to do more to you. That's what they're saying. You won't give us those two men? We'll just have our sexual pleasures with you, Lot. He came near to break the door. They're going to do any, anything they can to get this, what they would say in prison, fresh meat. That's what it's called. But the men put forth their hand. They got a hand. The angels got a hand. And pulled Lot into the house to them and shut to the door. They shut the door. The angels did. How do you know the ordinary, not ordinary men? They smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness. Angels have the power to blind people. Both small and great. So that they wearied, even stricken with blindness. Unable to see. Weary themselves to find the door in their blindness. They're trying to find that doorknob. They're trying to find the door to break in to do their sexual pleasure. Blindness has not stopped their desire to get those two men and have their way. You keep calling America a Sodom, and it's going to happen. Be not deceived, God's not mocked. Whatsoever man sows, that you shall also reap. Be careful. I mean, this sodomy is out in the open. America's going there. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides, son in law, and thy sons? So Lot has sons, son in law, and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in the city. Bring them out of this place. Get your family, get your servants, and let's go. For we, those angels speaking, will destroy this place. Now these angels are of God and don't lie. And you got to get this if you're going to read and understand your Bible about this. We will destroy this place. Because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord. And God already told that to Abraham in chapter 18 verse 20. And the Lord said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done all together according to the cry of God says, I will go in there, but he sends two angels to be the eyes of God. And they're reporting back to God how they report to God. You won't believe what just happened here, God. And we're with Lot right now. Yeah, I'm with Abraham right now. We got to protect him. Okay. We will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing more. Great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord has sent us to destroy it. That's important. And Lot went out and spanked unto his sons, plural, in law. He has more than one daughter that's married. He's got at least two daughters married. He's got at least four daughters overall. 
because it's S, which married his daughter, Horo, at least two. So let's count right now. Let's say lots, lot, one, his wife, two, at least two daughters, four, their husbands, six, the two girls that go with him, eight, and God stopped Abraham off at ten. Because God knew if Abraham go any further, if I would take these daughters and these sons-in-laws of Lot, they're just probably just as wicked. And said, up. Get you out of this place, Sodom. For the Lord will destroy this city. And they said, we will destroy it. And he sent us to destroy it. But the Lord's going to do it. God will use and has used his angels to perform what God needs to be done. He has told Judah, I will call for Nebuchadnezzar, my servant. And Judah, I am going to get you with a rod. I am going to, I am going to destroy you. And God said, I will do it, but he uses Nebuchadnezzar. God will and can use others for his purpose of judgment and still be ascribed to God. So that night in Egypt, when the destroyer is going through knocking on doors looking for blood, yes, God said, I will kill them. And God said, I killed them. But also he says to destroyer. Bible says to Ap Apollyon. It's just God. Well, then these then these angels lied in verse 13. And they're dining with God. I don't think they're Satan's angels. Scripture is scripture, my friend. Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked, made fun of, ridiculed, not taken seriously unto his sons-in-law. No one believed him. He had lived such a wicked life himself, such a worldly life. When he came to warn his family, nothing availed. You better not live worldly. You better not live as the world lives. Because when it comes time for your family, your friends, your co-workers, and people you know, they may not listen to you. When the morning arose, so it's overnight, the angels hasten Lot. Lot's not in a big hurry. Saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here. Least thou be consumed in the iniquity of this city. And while he lingered, he's not in a hurry. He's moping around. The men, the angels, laid hold upon his hand, upon the hand of his wife. She's not willing either. And upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and sent him without the city. Now the question is, he's resistance to the service of God and to leave the world. That's a statement. He does not want to go. There will be many Christians at the rapture who will not want to go and God's going to force them to go when they're, if they're alive. Now, the, another question. When God told Noah to build that ark, he says, I will send male and female animals to the ark. And we know that, that Noah preached the message. We know the world, some of the world saw those animals line up and go into that ark without any man guiding them. And I got to ask yourself a question here with Lot, being dragged out by his, with his family by these two men, the angel. Was anybody watching? Anybody say, "Gee, where's where's Lot going? What's going on?" No one else in Sodom follows these people. No one stops and questions. Well, at least the ones at the door, but it doesn't say that the whole city was there. 
and you got you got to imagine that there were probably people out doing something in some, it's morning, and here are these two men dragging this family out. Lot is well known; he's a judge. That could have been too. And it came to pass, when they had brought them forth abroad outside the city, that he said. So he's brought them outside the gate of Sodom. Escape for thy life. Look not behind thee. I got a note here, Luke 9, 62. Neither stay thou in all the plain. And the, the cities are in a plain. Escape to the mountain. Least thou be consumed. Lot, his wife, and his two daughters hear this. And Lot said unto, the, unto them, Oh, not so, my lord. Now notice how it's become a capital L. Now he knows who he thinks he knows who he's talking to. The angels have already proclaimed we're from God. Now it's become a capital L. So he believes. He just wants to stay. Behold now thy servant has found grace in thy sight. They said merciful. And thou hast magnified thy mercy. So he heard him. Which thou hast showed unto me in saving my life. I cannot escape to the mountain. Least some evil take me and I die. You're going to die a lot if you stay. You have been offered life. Longevity. More years. If you go where these angels tell you to go. But I can't do it. If God says you can do it. You can do it. Behold now, this city is near to flee unto. It is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. And here's this one little city over here. Can I go there? He's trying to make a big deal. He's trying to get out of going where God wants him to go. What about this city? And he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city for the which thou hast spoken. Hasty, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou, Lot, become thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar, which means little city. Because Lot said, Isn't this a little city? Nothing can happen to Lot because Abraham is still praying. Here is this just man according to the Bible. And God cannot do no destruction in this city to the just man is out of it. America is surviving the way she is surviving because there are few that are praying and doing what the word of God says to do. Now, when God takes out all the just people that are born again and saved by the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world by the gospel, when God calls them all home by the rapture, we learn, just like Psalm, all hell, damnation, and satanic work will happen, we know as the tribulation period, when the just come out. When we're gone, Oh, well, there'll be destruction. We went through Revelation. Hasty, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Therefore the name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen. So this is 6 a.m. They got up early, but the sun hadn't got up yet. As the sun is coming up upon the earth, when Lot entered into Zoar, then the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. But the angel said, 
God is working with the angels and the angels are working with God. That's the only reason you can explain this. Rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah, brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven it rains. Damnation. And they say today that what raiments if they can find in this city, they find that the walls or whatever is left behind, it's just like fire holes. Something just went right through these buildings and left holes. There's not much left. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the city and that which grew upon the ground. He totally destroyed this place, including plants, people, humans, and animals, and buildings. But his wife looked back from behind him. We find this in Luke. Remember Lot's wife. I had to remember what the verse was. And she became a pillar of salt. She looked back. She wasn't supposed to. She was told by the angel, don't look back. So there she is, a pillar of salt. For disobeying God. Why a salt? I don't know. I have no idea. And Abraham got up early in the morning... To the place where he stood before the Lord, where they were carrying on their conversation, and he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah, and toward all the land of the plain, and beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as a smoke of a furnace. The only thing that's left is smoke. And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain, that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out in the midst of the overthrow. It's because of Abraham's prayer Lot got out. When he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelt. And Lot went up out of Zoar and dwelt in the mountain. I thought you said you couldn't do it, Lot. I can't, some evil will befall me, I'm going to die. Will you end up in the mountains anyway? You're a liar. And his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zoar. Why? Zoar may have been just as wicked as Sodom and Gomorrah. And he said, you know what? If I stay here any longer, those angels may not protect me this time. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to obey God. And he dwelt in a cave. Here is the first caveman in the Bible. And I got a date BC 1898. Lot was a caveman with his two daughters. There it is. That's the first time cave shows up. And the firstborn said unto the younger, I don't, Our father is old. Okay. And there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. I don't know what they're saying. Maybe they see everything hopeless. I mean, there's no other men. Could you walk over to Abraham and say, you know, can we have some of your men? The whole earth wasn't destroyed. But to these girls, when Sodom and the cities were destroyed, that's the end of their world. There is no other but the men of Sodom in their eyes. Come, let us make our father drink wine. So we know what they want to do. They want their father to get drunk because it says drink wine. And we will lie with him that we may preserve seed of our father. Got to wonder where the wine came from. The last time we saw a man get drunk with wine was Noah and about three of his boys we just we read now we see Lot he's drunk in a cave with his two daughters and his two daughters are about to perform the, the act of, of incense incense with their father and they made their father drink wine that night made him it looks like he didn't want to do it. 
and the firstborn went in and lay with her father. And he perceived not when she laid down, nor when she arose. Self-explanatory. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesternight with my father. She's bragging. Men do that today. They go out for the whole weekend and they come back to work Monday and they brag about their weekend. Let us make him drink wine this night also and go thou in and lie with him that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night also. They made him drink wine again. He has no idea what's going on. And the younger rose and laid with him and he perceived not when she laid down, nor when she arose. Those were, th thus were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. The firstborn bare the son and called his name Moab. They will be an enemy of Israel their entire life. Yet but one woman called Ruth the Moabitess. Ruth the Moabitess comes from the family of Lot and the firstborn daughter, and I don't think we ever learned her name. Isn't that interesting? The same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. This is where the Moabites came from. And the younger, she also bare a son and called his name ben -Ami. The same is the father of the children of Ammon, another enemy of Jerusalem, of Israel, unto this day. So, we leave Lot, who have gotten drunk. His daughters had lied with him and produced children. And we don't hear anything of Lot no more until we get to the New Testament, where the Bible tells us he's just. Now, let's take Ezekiel 16, 49, before we close. <coughs> Ezekiel 16, 49. And let's look at the sins of Sodom before we close. And we'll walk, I mean, we'll walk from reading the verse. And we'll start in verse 48. Ezekiel 16, 48. Actually, we'll start in 46. Ezekiel 16, 46. And he's talking to Jerusalem. He's talking to Judah. And thy elder sister is Samaria, that's northern Israel, she and her daughters that dwell at thy left hand. And thy younger city sister that dwell at the right hand is Sodom and her daughters. Yet thou, yet hast thou not walked after their ways, nor done after their abomination. But as it, as if they were a little thing, thou was corrupted more than they in all thy ways. As I live, saith the Lord God, Sodom thy sister has not done, she nor her daughters, the cities, as thou hast done, thou and thy daughters. Behold this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Pride, number one. Fullness of bread, number two. Abundance of idleness, number three. Was in her and in her doors, neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy, number four. They were haughty, number five, and committed abominations before me. Therefore I took them away as I saw good. Sodom had great pride as America has pride. Sodom had great amounts of food as America has great amounts of restaurants. Sodom had abundance of idleness as America seeks to entertain. 
Now, there's some poor and needy being helped in America today, but not to a fullest. Haughty means high, lifted up. That's America. And then abominations, yeah, it's going. The things of Sodom are happening in America, and it was going on in Judah. And Judah ended up being taken over by Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar. Sodom, we read, ended up being destroyed by fire and brimstone. And if God doesn't judge America and flatten her for her sins, he must bring all of Judah and all of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities and apologize to them if he doesn't judge America. He has to. What will be the fall of America? Sodom, Gomorrah, and Judah. It has to. She is following the same thing that those cities done. God can't allow it. 